Prem Sikha was investigating the collapse of BCCI. He attempted to gain access to an unfinished report on the bank, named the Sandstorm Report, which was classified as a state secret in the UK. The path led to the Congress Library, where large parts of the Sandstorm Report could be seen, which were actually a state secret in the UK. The question was what was missing from it. The report in the US Congress Library had all the important names blacked out. So I put in a request for this information. Under the law, the Treasury, the Bank of England, they're supposed to give me a reply within 20 days. I'm afraid that it took two years uh, for them to really make up their mind that they could not release the information to me. We have to remember BCCI was the biggest banking fraud of 20th century in the world, not just in this country. They said uh, the release of this information would jeopardize UK's relationship with one or more other states. At another hearing, the UK Treasury and Bank of England argued that they could not release the blacked out names from the Sandstorm report, because doing so would infringe on the human rights of key figures at BCCI. The very individuals who were responsible for perpetrating fraud at the bank and its subsequent collapse. So the whole thing dragged on in total for five and a half years. And then uh, three judges unanimously ruled that the government has to release the information to me. The government released the report to Prem Sikha, but refused to make it publicly available or add it to the House of Commons library. Successive British governments, um, which I, I would argue have been captured by the city of London's very strong political lobbying, do not want to take effective action against the City of London. They don't, they don't want to regulate it effectively. They like the fact that the City of London has this reputation for being a light-touch regulator. 